Greetings everybody, it's Barry from H&W Machine Repair. And today's video, we are going to do probably the most requested item that we have, and that is changing the collet alignment screw in a Bridgeport Series 1 mill with an R8 collet. So, first step you're gonna do is you're gonna take a Sharpie marker, and you're going to mark on your quill, down to your nose piece, a line. Um, that way, when you put it back together, you know exactly where you're going, okay? Next, take an eighth inch Allen wrench, and there's a set screw about a quarter inch down. You may have to move your quill down to reach it. And we're gonna remove that set screw. And all that set screw's doing is keeping your nose piece from rotating. That is literally all that it does. Next step is we need to remove the nose piece on the bottom. Grab my spanner wrench here. This is a standard right hand thread. You can see I've already removed my mark on my nose piece, which is very easy to do. Standard right hand thread. So unthread that. Okay, you can take your nose piece off. Now this is a machine that we just had the head, we just rebuilt the head on, so obviously everything's coming off easy. It may not be quite as easy when you're doing your own. Okay, once you have this off, you're going to take your quill all the way up. And when you take that off, kind of keep your hand under here, just in case you have one of the very rare spindles that wants to fall. Once you have it out, take your quill all the way up, lock your quill handle, put your draw bar back up inside your head. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap the spindle down about one inch. And what we are attempting to do is get to where you can see your cod alignment key right there. Once you have that out, have it down, we're going to remove the special socket set screw and the collet alignment screw. So first, and they'll come out together as long as you get that set screw loose. Now I run into many, many of these that don't have either the set screw or the collet alignment screw in them at all. Okay, once you have them, you take them out, See, that's your special set screw right there. This is your caught alignment screw. Now these are quarter 32 threaded tap threads. So um, very fine. Now, obviously when you take this off, the odds are that head will not be on there at all. It will have been broken off years ago. But this again is a brand new one. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together now. Cause at this point you're ready to go back together. First thing you do is put your caught alignment screw in. Kind of reach up under there. And once you feel it start to come out a little bit, get it out a little bit. Or you can take a one of your collets and put it up in there. Make sure that you're not in too far. Okay, so this one's in, of course. 330 seconds is the number they say. This is in a little far. Back it out a little bit. And you do this pretty much by feel, so all right, that'll go in there real well. So once you have the collet alignment screw in, it's time to put in the set screw. Now the set screw is a little more tricky sometimes. So, as you can see. And once you get this going in, Going to be very careful because it's easy to have your um, collet screw in too far or move this in too far. A lot of times I'll put a little blue Loctite on here if I feel like I'm going to have an issue here. This one's going in really well, so it's not really an issue at all. Okay, once you have it in, just one last time, put your collet back in there again just to make sure. 
goes up okay. All right. Now, at this point, you're going to let, raise this up, lock your quill. We need to tap the spindle back up. Okay, once you have that up, lower it down just a little bit again. Put your nose piece back on. See my mark is right there, right there, there. There we go. We're back in. So now we're ready to set the final set screw back in. And put that in place. Make sure that it goes back in place so that, see this one's sticking out, out a little bit. Got a little bit of work to do here. We'll do that later. Um, you may need to shorten that screw a tiny bit, but then we put it all back together and once you have your set screw back in you are done and ready to go that's all there is to it it's about a 10 15 minute job so as always thank you for watching and please subscribe to our youtube channel